What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to connect a kill switch in your car. Some American cars, when you turn off the um, car, the engine, well, the power ports, which is the cigarette lighter port, may not turn off. Now, if that happens and you have something plugged in into your cigarette lighter port, that can kill your car battery. That's why you may wanna install a kill switch with the LED built in, letting you know your power port, your cigarette lighter port is still on. All right, so here is my cigarette lighter port, and it may be a different spot for you, but a lot of them are in the center console, and I'm gonna show you how to tap into that port right there. On mine, I have a power inverter connected to that port. On my Ford Mustang, removing the screws all right here will remove the whole center console. All right, so you wanna locate the wiring for your power port, which is cigarette lighter port. And on this car, it's right here. Just unplug it. And let's test and see which wire is the positive and which one is the negative. That's important. So I'm gonna put my meter in DC mode. All right, so I'm gonna test and see which side is positive and negative. And so I'm gonna put my black lead on the black wire, because I think that might be negative, and my red lead on the green wire and it reads 12 volts. And because it doesn't read minus 12 volts, I know I have it the right way. So it looks like the black wire is going to be the negative and the green wire is the positive. Now if you put it backwards, you're gonna get negative 12. See that minus? So at this point, you wanna disconnect your car battery and you wanna cut the green wire. Now, you're gonna you wanna use a cable. Make sure you have the um, same gauge wiring or you can use thicker gauge wiring. Um, right here I got this power cord. Uh, it's a junk power cord I don't use anymore. And I'm gonna use it to wire those three wires. So I'm gonna use the green and the white for my positive and the black for my negative. And then when you strip the wiring, make sure you strip the wiring no longer than the width of your thumbnail. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go twist that up. Next, on my switch, I'm gonna use these quick crimp on connectors. And the, the blue one's gonna be the ground wire and the red is gonna be the hot, the voltage wire. And they just slip on right here on the connector. And the reason why that you wanna use these, you know, these connectors is because anytime you wanna remove your um, paneling, then this will actually unplug and you can remove the paneling. It's not, you know, not going to be a pain in the ass later on if you need to do another installation. And this has a built-in uh, fuse, so if anything goes wrong, hopefully the fuse will pop in here, or the fuse will pop in your fuse box. And actually, it, it, it tells you uh, what is the ground and what is positive. So that symbol right here, that you see a bunch of lines stacked on top of each other, this copper prong, that is the ground. And these are the positive, these two. And this, when you hit the switch, this is uh, open connection right here. This is gonna open these two silver tabs. And then when you close it, then they're gonna bridge. And this is the ground to make the LED work. Now the switch right here, I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right here, which is convenient for me to like toggle back and forth. I'm gonna use a three quarter inch spade bit right here. And you look, it looks like that would fit just right. You have to measure it like that. You don't want it too. You don't want it wider than that because then your hole is going to be exposed and it's going to look really bad, and the button's going to be sitting loose. So you want to use this drill bit so you have a nice snug fit. And if you have to, you can work it around by angling the drill bit. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and put my black wire on the blue connector, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and crimp that. And when you crimp it, you wanna crimp it right there below that little notch. It's pretty much right there in the middle. And you'll hear it crunch. 
And you can do it again if you want, just to be safe. Then you can um, put it on the ground right here and tug on it and make sure it's secure. And this one is, feels pretty secure. Anytime you remove it, you always want to grab the connector to remove it. Don't pull on the wire. Go ahead and strip this side out. And we're going to use these crimp on connectors. So I got this side also connected. And now I want to connect the green to the green. Here's the other green wire right here. And let's go ahead and connect that other side and that's going to be the white crimp that on there we go and then we're going to connect now the ground wire and that's going to light up the LED and a quick connect is just Basically what it does, it splices into the wiring using this metal clip as a bridge. The, there's two slots in here that you see. That's where the wire sits. And then once you clamp down this metal tab that right, you see right here, that splices into the wiring, causing, you know, creating a bridge. All right, so on this wiring, I'm gonna go ahead and just splice just a little bit right here so it gets a really good connection. You don't want to cut the wire all the way through. Be careful, don't do that. There we go. And now some of the wiring is exposed. And then I'm gonna sit that wire right here in this quick connect right there. And you don't want any of the wire exposed on the outside, so I'll just go ahead and move it back a little bit. And now let's go ahead and close it, and then we're gonna clamp it. All right, and just to make sure it's gonna bite into it, we're gonna close it a little bit harder with this. All right, so now everything is connected that you see right here. See, everything's connected. This is what it looks like. It looks like a mess, but it's actually secure. Don't worry. So I'm gonna move the wiring from over here, and basically you wanna drill a hole where there's no wiring, and there's an open spot for the button. Next, let's go ahead and put the wiring through. You want to plug in the cable into the cigarette lighter port. And I have my car battery plugged in and the car is on. All right, so now how you want to connect it is you want to connect the black wire, which is the ground, to the copper tab right here. And it's labeled right here. It has the three lines that are stacked up and down that's the ground next you want to connect the green to the middle prong which is the silver prong and that goes out to the cigarette lighter port and the white wire is coming from the fuse box all right and that's the 12 volts right here 
and so the 12 volts won't bridge over to that green wire that is connected to your cigarette lighter port until you hit the switch and when you hit the switch the light should light up letting you know that it's turned on and it does see I don't know if you can see that so it is working right if you have it backwards then this is what it's going to look like if you have it wired backwards the light is always going to be on no matter what it will still work but the light will always be on you don't want that you want it so the light turns off when it's off all right so now that you tested and everything's working right the way it should be let's go ahead and disconnect this and put everything together there we go see it turns off when you hit that switch it turns on when it's on and let's go ahead and send this down Put it into its place just like that and it works see pretty cool huh now if I'm sitting waiting for my son getting picked up from school I can watch some TV in my car and if you want to turn everything off you hit that switch and it kills the power so if you're interested in installing free TV in your car check out the links in the video description below if you're interested in any of the products that I've shown in this video, also check out the link in the video description below. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on that subscribe button. And if you know anyone that this video may interest or help, click on that share button. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up.